All right, so this game, I went back to my Brian's Optics. There's the net cam footage of this game as well. I didn't play amazing in this game. My team helped out with a lot of goal support. I uh, ca caught off angle, didn't make the right plays for the two glove shot goals. Then I put a rebound right back on the shooter's stick instead of keeping it in front of the net, which would have been fine. Um, but regardless, moving to these pads was nice because I, when wearing these, it reminded me of, oh, that's what nice sliding pads feel like. Because again, these pads during that game, at the, especially at the beginning, like when I was sliding around, I'm like, oh, okay, these are fast. Whereas I haven't felt that in a while using the Axis and the G5. So that was an interesting thing. They obviously degrade for sliding quality the later on the game, the worse the ice gets, but they were really good for like the beginning and much more impressive than the other ones. Uh, with that said, I noticed something on the net cam footage that I didn't bring up in that video because I didn't notice it until after it was uploaded. I noticed the thigh rise was coming off the ice when I was leaning into the post. I've had thigh rise issues with coming off the ice on Brian's pads before, but not like this. This was pretty bad. Uh, so I think the reason doing it, and I noticed when editing this video, was because of these toe ties. So I haven't worn these pads in a while, and because I switch pads quite often, I kind of forget the settings I'm supposed to use on certain things. So if I, like, so whether you wrap it through the hole in the toe and the middle of the skate, or just the middle of the skate, with these ones I wrapped it. Um, with these ones, I wrapped it through the toe and the middle, and it's clearly too tight because you can see when my skate is pushing down, it's tilting the pad and forcing the toe of the pad down. So it's causing the pad to kind of like go like this, kind of like the axis do, but the axis does it on purpose. Where this one, it was only because my toe was kind of pushing it. Normally, these sit really flat, which I like and how it should be. So I noticed that in this video. I'm not going to do a ton of um, net cam videos for like stuff in the future. It's a lot of editing and it's not a ton of useful footage anyways. You can't really see a lot. I'm a big guy. I take up a lot of the screen. So I'm only going to do it when I have new pads to show off either sizing or some things I notice differently with pads that I want to talk about. So just a heads up. If you are going to make any purchases for hockey equipment or anything related, check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey and Pure Goalie. Clicking that link and make a purchase gives me a kickback to help support the channel so I can keep doing what I'm doing. Y'all ready for this?
You're watching HockeyReviews.ca.